In this section, we're going to discuss where to deploy your Personar hosts for maximum um, usefulness. The Personar hosts are most useful if they're deployed near your key resources, such as data servers or data transfer nodes. The more Personar nodes you have in your network, uh, the, the easier it is to isolate where the problems are. This diagram shows a typical example of where you might want to deploy your Personar host. Uh, there might be one connected to your uh, router that connects you to the backbone. There might be one right next to your site uh, firewall. And you have one right next to your storage servers deep inside your campus. That way you're able to run tests between the persona host next to your storage server and to verify whether or not the, your firewall is causing a performance impact. And you're able to run tests between the persona node and uh, your remote collaborators. In general, when setting up regular Personar tests, you set up tests for three things. One is to test TCP throughput using iperf3. One is to test one-way packet loss and delay using OAMP. And one is to run regular trace routes to keep track of what paths your packets are taking. In general, people set up their nodes in one of three ways. Option number one is what we call a Personar beacon, and that lets other people run tests to you. You don't necessarily set up any regular testing configuration on the host. It's just there so that people can run tests to you. Sometimes backbone networks will, will set up nodes in this way. The second type we call a test island, where you pick uh, a set of hosts to, to run tests to and store the data locally. So if you only have one persona node, you may set it up in this setup where you find a set of persona nodes out there on the network along paths of interest to you and then you run regular tests to those nodes. Option number three is the mesh configuration where you do full coordination between your node as part of a set of nodes that are all part of a mesh. This is typically done when you're setting up a persona or dashboard and everybody is cooperating to be part of the same dashboard. The next question is how often do you want to run tests? When running iperf tests, we typically recommend running four to six tests per day of 10 to 20 second durations per test with longer durations needed for longer network paths. OAMP tests typically run continuously in the background 24 seven. You'll also want to be collecting data with SNMP if possible as well so that you can cross correlate that data with your persona data to understand which paths are congested versus which paths have non-congestive loss.